Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you a quick upgrade from your old analog thermostat to a digital thermostat. So stick with me, we'll get right on it. Alright, here's the new digital thermostat. We're going to go ahead and, and drill a couple of holes to get that mounted. All you need is a couple of screwdrivers, your batteries, and your mounting kit that comes with the thermostat. Alright, this is the old analog thermostat. Uh, it's made by du Duo Therm and uh, they're incredibly famous for not being very accurate and sometimes the uh, degrees can be off by almost five degrees uh, or even more before your furnace kicks on and uh, it can lose a lot of fuel that way if it's kicking on more than necessary all right so all you really need to do i'm going to try and stay out of the way but it's kind of hard to do uh, you take this cover off set that aside and this is just a two wire uh, thermostat uh, depending on the year or whether or not you've got some cooling um, things with you with your RV or trailer it could be a five wire or even seven wire but this one here is just two so it makes it really really easy and you can see this is where the off and on to get power into the coil which hits your switch that so goes through your to your red wire that goes back down to your thermostat or excuse me uh, your furnace now the very first thing that you want to do, and I've already done this, um, is disconnect the power or flip the breaker to make sure that there's no power coming to this. What I'm going to do is take her loose from the wall. And all you have to do is loosen these up a little bit. the wire out. One thing that you, you have to make certain of, sometimes when they put these things in here they don't give you a, a, an excess amount of wire and you could lose your wire back down in the hole so you want to be pretty careful of that. Sometimes you can take some channel locks or something and get in back behind there and put that on the Make sure it doesn't come off on you. All right, something I want to show you guys here. Um, on these plates, you can see that there's a bunch of letters. And if you have a thermostat that has those letters on the different wires, they need to co correspond with those letters. And uh, don't go off the, the color of the of the wires themselves. Just make sure that they get put back to the same letters. My thermostat doesn't have that on here, so I can't show you that. But this would be this R and RC is where your power will come back out. That's uh, your cooling and that's your heat. And we're just going to use the W. All right, so what I need to do is get my mounting plate mounted up here. And I will probably take my level. If you got a little torpedo level or something, put it on there just to make make this level so anyway I'll get this mounted up and we'll get right back all right as you can see I just got everything hooked up and the west white one going to the one marked W remember it doesn't mean that it's gonna be white it could be a different color and uh, the other one going down to the to the uh, to the furnace got it pretty level and all you have to do is put the batteries in and snap the case back on. A really simple upgrade. The Honeywell thermostat has a couple spots or a couple of AAAs, and they'll make sure that your switch is over to gas. All right, so there you go. It's a better thermostat. It only cost me like $25 or something like that. And uh, here's your, your off and on switch. Um, like I said, it'd go to heat or cool, um, but all I have is a is heat, so it doesn't matter. But put the fan set to auto, and uh, should be good. Okay, everybody. Well, thanks for joining me on that short little tutorial. That's really simple, really easy to do, and it's a great upgrade if you have an older RV or travel trailer like this one. And uh, it, remember, this is just a two wire. Uh, when you take yours off, it might be a five wire. And uh, there's some detailed instructions on the internet for that already, but I hadn't seen anything for the two wire yet. So uh, here we go. 
Anyway, thanks for joining me, and uh, hopefully we'll see you on the next one.